that was, believe it or not, the first sunrise somewhere behind those clouds of 2020. Uh, let's say 2020 has potential. As I mentioned in the review of the year, every day has been a highlight where Piano Book is concerned. An insane achievement. It's gone beyond my wildest dreams, and I believe it has the sniff of something with as I mentioned about the sun over behind those clouds, a huge amount of potential. I spoke to a couple of the people who helped me, you know, with the kind of administrative webby side of Piano Book yesterday and just reinforced the fact that it absolutely wouldn't exist if it wasn't for them. But if it wasn't for you, it would just basically be a bunch of silly piano experiments in the shed. This is your achievement. And I felt it only appropriate to use this my first vlog of 2020 to give a shout out, an honours list, if you will, to people who have really gone above and beyond or have achieved great things with Piano Book. Starting with the most downloaded piano or instrument on the site. Andrew Ward, congratulations to you, sir. It seems that your 1911 German upright, is it a Bechstein, um, is the most popular download on the Piano Book site. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a different riff for Piano Book for 2020. You can see you used two Royers to record this. They're amazing mics and they look like lightsabers. Oh, me like you, Whitthy. Angus, Robert Carey, you've made a few submissions, but also have been really helpful with other people's submissions. So thanks ever so much for that. Linked below is a site where Angus actually sells his amazing samples. Incredibly reasonable and well worth checking out. It's really interesting that. And I think it's quite nice to apply orchestral techniques to sustained sounds like that. I often have a lot of fun with just basic straight up synth sounds, controlling them with both expression and modulation to, uh, you know, basically employ orchestral techniques with synths it can be really helpful against dialogue and kind of make it sounding like it's pumping against and reacting against certain things in the track uh, without having to set up complicated kind of side chains, that kind of stuff. Christopher Scullion and Connor Sawchuck, you've both made five submissions. The Tatak Felt Piano Full is one of my personal favorites. great maybe to have a look at the velocity on that one to make that just a little bit more responsive it's a bit it just sits on one level but what a beautiful level it is brilliant stuff and connor let's have a listen to yours toy glockenspiel amongst i think four other instruments that you've submitted I call these kind of diegetic instruments. Not only would I use that in a track, but it's also great for if there is some kind of diegetic need for a glockenspiel that doesn't sound like something uh, played by, I don't know, one of Steve Reich's percussionists. And I love the width of the recording as well. I think I just really urge people to give as much width as you can. You can always bring it in. You can't bring it out. And what's so exciting about Piano Book is not just the submissions, but also the help that people have offered to other people's submissions. Whoa! Sunrise! That's insane! Told you 2020 had potential. Look at that, that's absolutely nuts. <laughs> And 
to begin 2020 with an outstanding gift for the community is Andrew Finch's deep sampled shimmel. I'm currently age 17 and have been playing piano since I was six. I then quickly took up percussion and trumpet too. When I first started sampling a few a few years ago, the first in utero sample developer. Anyway, you, you did kind of percussion and trumpets, that kind of stuff, but this piano, shimmel, big fan of shimmels, and this is why I'm so excited. I've had this piano ever since I was born and I absolutely adore it. It had a good bashing, which we all like, puts the character in. I decided to sample it, not only to try and capture its sound, but also to try and understand the process of deeply sampling an instrument with so many notes. I was fortunate to get hold of some Audio Technica 4033s, which are excellent. That was my first kind of serious mic. I'm not very good at recording, so the quality of the sound is hopefully to be improved upon when I next sample a piano, but overall I'm pleased with the result. I was really fortunate to get some help with the scripting, but one thing I haven't worked out yet is how to stop the release triggers getting sustained by the pedal. Yes, this is a problem we're all having, and Andrew. Right, so let's have a look inside. Oh, look, scripting. And wow, oh, you're not like cheapest. You've sampled every note. Four velocity layers. Let's have a little loop. Look at the um, interesting. Okay, let's have a listen. I think that sounds lovely. Let's not also forget those of you who have submitted demos. These are such an essential part of people being able to preview what the pianos sound like. And well, Keith Theodosu, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, it's just a simply insane number of demos. Along with Simon Fife, who's not only submitted loads of demos, he runs the whole demo department of Piano Book and has become a good friend. Simon, thanks so much for your commitment this year. Then Igor Curdello. Always apologies in advance for all of the mispronunciations I will make of your names in 2020. Uh, you had a massive run of instruments that you made for Piano Book. Was it back in September, October of 2019? <laughs> lovely 12 string there and I'd also like to offer my support for people who make fantastic YouTube videos David Hillowitz so I was thinking maybe I would try to recreate one of those drums but turn it into a reverb unit John Mayer uh, not only makes incredible instruments but the most extraordinary videos Hello everybody, I'm here in Somerville, Texas. You may recognize these locations from the films I've been making. And you may notice that I've been making a lot more films lately. Every time I make one, I give myself a challenge. Like this time I'm using a wireless mic and I'm making jump cuts from one location to the next. Uh, did I do okay? What I love about these kind of communities is, is when people make you feel, I think jealous is not, not the word, they <laughs> just slightly angry with the kind of quality level they have achieved. And then what I love is as the anger subsides, you go, that gives me a benchmark to aim for. And I'm going to try and make these videos better because of your videos, John. I also have to thank Joshua Meltzer. I... <sighs> 17 instruments, all excellent as well. And your demos I really enjoy and you're just fantastic, Joshua. Thank you so much for your commitment. I hope maybe we can do some work together somehow because I really, really like what you do. And in December, you came up with something great too. So to all of those mentioned, thanks so much. I believe you're all Spitfire Audio users. 
So what I'm going to do over the next few days is look at your accounts and personally curate some gifts to you based on what you have, what you don't have, and on your demos, your submissions, try and work out stuff that I think will be of value to you. It's a meagre thanks for the amazing commitment you've offered. But I also want to give special thanks to Stephen, Stephen Tallamy, without whom I don't think we'd have a piano book. Stephen, you made me aware that you can't just set these things off and they kind of motor off into the distance. No, you need to put fuel back into the tank and that's what you've been doing month in, month out, well beyond the call of duty. So I've got something really special coming your way over the next week or so. Thanks again to everyone I've mentioned today, but to all of you as a community, for those of you who are taking part in the forum, submissions, demos, and people who are simply downloading and enjoying these samples. I hope they motivate you to write better music, but also motivate you to create sounds of your own. This, I believe, to be the fastest track towards creating music that is you. I've got some exciting ideas for Piano Book, some exciting meetings about Piano Book that I'll fill you in on, not to mention some incredible new instruments coming your way. It would be churlish not to subscribe with what's coming up. Ding that bell to ensure that you're notified the next time we put up a video, and one of those to everyone who's been mentioned here today would be much appreciated. Have a fantastic 2020. It may have a slow start, but I think it promises, like that sunrise, to be a right belter.